Hey everyone, welcome to episode 24 of The Skull Mug, the show in which I drink beer and bullshit for like 20 minutes or however long the episodes are. I apologize if my voice is a little bit scratchy in this episode. I was just belting out some Black Dahlia Murder <laughs> lyrics uh, in the shower right before filming this, so my voice is a little bit bleh. Um, but on this episode, we're doing something a little bit special. Um, if you remember, I think it was maybe three or four episodes ago, I drank some of my partner's dad's homemade ginger beer, which was really tasty. I really, really like it. I actually have another bottle of it down in the fridge right now, which I'm super stoked on because it's delicious. It's really good. Uh, but on this episode, we're doing another homemade beer. This is a homemade Saison. You can see on the tape there, it just says Saison. Uh, 6.5% made by a pal of mine named Jordan. So shout out to Jordan for handing me his homemade Saison. I'm really excited to try this. Uh, so without further ado, I guess let's go ahead and pour. Ooh, it's extremely foamy. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Um, I opened the fucking bottle and the foam was already like pouring out immediately. I opened it before turning on the camera because uh, it's not a twist off. It was like something you have to open with a bottle opener. So I did that and then it immediately started foaming. So it might take a while to, to drink this whole thing. I'm definitely not gonna finish this within the episode, but I mean, I don't always do that anyway, so whatever. Just put that to the side for now. Give it a little taste. Gotta get rid of some of the foam first. Mm. It was a while ago that he gave me this, so I don't remember exactly what it was that he told me he put in it, like where the ingredients beyond just the regular stuff for beer, if there's anything at all. But it does taste pretty sweet. I guess Saison's are normally pretty sweet. There's definitely some like fruity flavoring going on in there. Like, I want to say orange, kind of citrusy. It's definitely not flowery. I wouldn't call it herbal. But I do like the taste, so. All right, I got most of the foam gone. Let's pour a little bit more in there. Oh, pouring from the left hand <laughs> this time. Whoa. Mmm. Fucking hell. Okay, definitely put a little bit too much in that. Oops. But anyway. This is some good shit. Again, shout out to Jordan for giving me this. I really like it. He gave me another um, bottle as well. A smaller bottle of uh, mead that he made. Um, and that's 13.5% in a bottle that's half the size of this one. So I know that when I try that, it's going to fucking destroy me. I'm going to be obliterated by that. But I will try that in a future episode as well. That might be episode 25, I'm not sure. But uh, on this episode, I wanted to talk about another upcoming music release that I'm working on right now. So for those of you who don't know, um, excuse me, my main project is called Mistwalker. Uh, it's black and heavy metal. I have a lot of content on this channel that is associated with it. Uh, I have like live sets, I have drum playthroughs, guitar playthroughs of my songs. I even have most of the Mistwalker discography up on this channel as well. So if you want to hear more of that, you can just go into the videos section. There's a full playlist of like all of my music and shit. It's all there for you to listen to. But beyond that, I also have another band called Rat Piss. Um, now I do have like many, many, many different music projects. I have a bunch of different projects and a bunch of different genres. Most of them are just me by myself recording music. Um, whenever I want to. Mistwalker is like that as well, though I do have a live band. 
There are a couple other projects where I do it with other people. Impaled Upon the Mountains and Grimacing, those are two uh, black metal bands that I do with my friend Chris back home in Newfoundland. He's living in St. John's right now. He used to live here in Montreal with me, actually, um, but he's no longer here. Um, so I do those two projects with him, and then I also have Rat Piss, which is a project that I do with my partner Aaron and our other guitarist Sammy. Now, the thing with Rat Piss, and I want to set the record straight here, and it's part of the reason I wanted to make this video and talk about this in this video. There's a misconception amongst some people within the local scene that Rat Piss is like mostly my thing, and that's simply not true. Um, Rapis is definitely spearheaded by Aaron. She writes most of the music. She comes up with all the melodies and all the riffs and shit. Um, she even will tell me like what she wants in terms of drum sound for each song. So she definitely has the most creative input and creative control. And that's not to say that Sammy and I don't have input as well, because we definitely do. We come up with shit and we add it to the songs. But by and large, she's the creative lead of this project. So far we've played three shows. We did one show at Fatal here in Montreal uh, in the parking lot this summer that got shut down by the cops. Um, Miss Walker also played that show and they the cops showed up like halfway through our set. Uh, we played a show at Lemisphere Gauche as well and then most recently, I think it was not last weekend but the weekend before, we played at AJ's Bar and Restaurant in Villamar. And so far things are looking really good and the best thing about it is that we have a new EP in the works. Now we've only released one demo so far which is available right now on Bandcamp. It's called Do Not Return. There are three songs on it. Will You Be Here Tomorrow, Tough Guy Syndrome, and Ratnip. And they're all like kind of shitty recordings if I'm being honest. Like they're not the best but they do have a very raw sludgy sound. So if you're looking for something like that I definitely recommend going and checking it out. We also have another song called uh, Something In My Eye, which was released only and specifically on the heavy NFLD compilation Burn The Leeches, which I put out last summer. So if you want to hear that song, the only place you can find it is on the heavy NFLD Bandcamp on that compilation album or on the heavy NFLD YouTube channel. I've been trying to convince Aaron to release it as a single, but she's not really into it because it's, in all fairness, not really our best song. But this new EP, we actually put a lot more effort into it, a lot more work. So we went to um, Black House Records uh, here in Montreal, which is a recording studio that's run by the guys from the band The Sunset Drip. Uh, they're really good at what they do in terms of recording music, and we were really happy with how it sounded. I'm doing the mixing, which is a lot of pressure, of course. I've been doing it for a few months now, like working on it on and off because there's so much else going on in our lives that it's really hard for me to find time to do it. But uh, things are coming along really nicely. We're almost finished with the mixing process. I'm working on the guitars right now, and after that's done, it's only the vocals that's left. And then we're going to listen to it together as a band, decide if it's good enough or not, and then we will release it. So there's five tracks on this upcoming EP. Uh, if you've been to any of our three live shows that we've played so far, you've heard all of them. Uh, there's nothing new that's on this. Um, we did No Gods, No Smokers, or, sorry, I, mis, uh, I misnamed the, the title of the track. It's No Dogs, No Smokers, which is a reference to landlords being pieces of shit, basically, and not allowing people to just live their lives in the property they rent. Uh, that's almost always our intro song, like that's usually the song we start the set with. Then after that there's Mania, which is kind of like punk meets black metal, like there's some really like insane black metal shit going on in that song. A lot of blast beats, a lot of tremolo picked like melodies on the guitar and stuff like that. Uh, there's Crime Pays, Violence Thrills, which is the fastest and most brutal song that we have in our set. It kicks my ass every single time we play it because the drums are so fucking nuts. Um, after that, we have Bring Back 80 Speed, which is an older song. We, we have, we've had that song written in, in our arsenal for two years now, and we're really happy to finally have a recorded version of it because it is a fucking ripper. It's like a minute and a half long. It's the fastest song that we have. It's like, uh, well, I guess, I don't know, speed-wise, it's, it's comparable to Crime Pays, Violence Thrills. 
Um, but there's a different vibe to it. Like, uh, Bring Back 80 Speed is, well, obviously the title is a reference to the Bring Back 80 Speed metal re uh, meme, but we just took out the metal part. Um, and it's definitely a lot more melodic, but it's like super fast and just fucking punches you in the face, and it lasts so short, like the, it's again, a minute and a half long, it's definitely the shortest song in our whole set. Uh, and it's just meant to be a fucking barn burner, you know, that just slaps you in the face and then gets the fuck out of there. And then the last song on the EP is a re-recording of Ratnip, uh, which we're really happy about because that song has been in our repertoire for a long time. Again, that's an older song back when we had our old guitarist, He Who Shall Not Be Named, because he's a fucking dickhead. Um, he did write the ending part of the song. Uh, like the heavier breakdown that you'll hear when the album actually comes out, the EP comes out, sorry. Um, but everything else was came up with by Aaron and I. Um, now that song's kind of, it's, it's the longest song in our set. It's uh, more of like, I don't know how to really describe it. It's, it's just kind of like punk with some like melancholy aspects to it. Like the way the, the bass and the guitars go, during the bridge, they're they're very very melancholy, um, but it's a really fun song to play. I really enjoy that song, and I can't wait for you guys to hear the final version of it because I'm really proud of it myself. But yeah, that's uh, the the Rat Piss EP that's coming out. Uh, we have no set release date for it yet because I haven't finished the mixing process. But as soon as I finish the mixing, we're gonna decide when we want to release it. Hopefully we can put out some physical copies. I'm trying to look into um, doing tape recording here at our apartment, like just getting blank tapes and filling them with the audio from uh, like different albums that I've done in the past. So if I can figure out how to do that and do it quickly enough, then we'll probably do some homemade cassette release of this EP when it comes out. So I'm really, really stoked on that. But as soon as we have a release date solidified, I'll make a video about that. You'll be the first to know. It'll be announced everywhere. Keep an eye on our social media for all that shit. Um, right now we are in the process of booking some more shows for the new year. We probably won't have anything between now and December because honestly, since COVID restrictions have kind of lifted, uh, everything has been booked solid and it's been really hard to find anywhere that will take us because Every weekend is already full with bands who, as soon as things lifted, they immediately jumped on it and we didn't do that. It's kind of a mistake. It's, it's definitely on us. It's our fault. But we got some stuff cooking for January and February as well as for Mistwalker. And final update, I realized that this year, Aaron and I, we started a new black metal project called Dendrochronologist that was made for RPM 2021, which is done in February. And we had a five song EP planned that we were gonna record really quick, do it all DIY, not even going to a studio or anything like that. Doing it in the traditional way that like I've usually done things with recording everything with one microphone, not really putting like too much effort into the recording itself, but making it sound like really raw and DIY and like lo-fi and shit. Uh, we have five songs written and we just never got around to recording them because we ran out of time. So this February, we are putting more effort into Dendrochronologist and we're hoping that we'll actually have an EP finished and released on March 1st. I hope that it actually happens. Uh, it's not a priority of ours, but we're putting Mistwalker on hiatus for that month so that we can have more time to focus on that EP and get shit done. So I'm really, really hoping that we can get that EP finished and out to you because I promised it like almost a year ago at this point and it still hasn't come out. The Facebook page has like a shit ton of likes and people don't even know like why they've liked it because there's no music available. But make no mistake, there are songs, they exist, they just haven't been recorded yet, and they will be done. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Again, shout out to Jordan for his fucking awesome homemade saison. The dude Bree, uh, brews, I almost said breeds, what the, f what the fuck? The dude brews a lot of his own shit. Um, I'm probably gonna go brew some things with him someday. So I'm really looking forward to that. Thanks again for, to him for loading me this beer, for allowing me to try it out. Really stoked in that. The next episode will probably be me trying his mead. Um, and that's it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. See you in the next video. Peace out.